I need your help. This defaulty boy just threw a birthday party, but nobody showed up, and her feelings are hurt. To cheer her up, like this video with your nose as quickly as possible. If this video gets 1,000 likes, she will pick a few people from the comments and tell me their names so I can gift them a skin from the Fortnite item shop. Don't let her down. Today is July 19th, 2020, which means in just two short days, less than that actually, we will have the cars coming to Fortnite. Finally, the long-awaited vehicles are going to be added into the game in less than 48 hours time, and I am so unbelievably excited. The way these cars are going to change, the dynamic of transportation in the game is going to be unfathomable. In this video, we'll dive a little deeper into the whole cars thing as to what we should expect come Tuesday. We're also going to go over some free stuff coming to the game, some leaks, and all sorts of stuff. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this, and you should watch all the way until the end. Every single day, whether I'm live or not, I give away a ton of free stuff and free skin gifts. The main way to get a gift from me is to check me out on caffeine.tv slash drpineapples. I'm going to be live tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. You should definitely follow me over there if you're not already. If you want to win yourself a free skin gift, it's the easiest and most concrete way to get one for yourself from me. Also, if you want to get added to my free friends list to maybe play sometime or hang out or talk or anything like that, that is definitely the number one way to add me because over the course of my entire stream, I add people all the way throughout and if you're lucky, you may be able to get into some background gameplay just like what you're seeing here. Plus, in order to receive a gift, you have to have me added for two days straight before you are even eligible. So adding me as soon as possible is a great way to make sure that if you win, you will be able to get your gift immediately. I've added so many people over the last year and a half since I've been live on Caffeine, and I mean, look at this dude. I have to be close to some sort of Fortnite record for most friends added. I mean, I gotta be up there. I have 700 people online and so many more thousands offline. So unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Fortnite has cars coming out in just a few days, and along with those cars, there's going to be a specific game mode, which in the files is called Chrome right now. And here are the lines of coding of what is actually related in terms of strings to that game mode. Race to the finish, get to the finish line however you can. No points for second place, so faster is better. More than one way to win, take out the competition if it helps, teleporting to the starting line. Here are even more strings, so it says do whatever you can to get to the finish line first, countdown to race start, 3, 2, 1, go, and then you have reached the finish line, I'm assuming that plays immediately after you get to the finish line, of course, that makes sense. So believe it or not, I think that actually gives a lot away about what's going to happen, so the two things that are most intriguing from what I just showed you, number one, get to the finish line however you can. Number two, there is more than one way to win, so that makes me think there's some sort of twist on this that we have yet to discover because, of course, the game mode isn't even out yet. Obviously, the main goal of this is not to kill people. It's one of the few game modes in Fortnite where being last alive isn't actually the goal. The only other game mode that I can think of that was like that was the Heist or the Llama game mode. I can't exactly remember which one that was. The one with the Llama jewels where you just needed to collect all the jewels and get out. You did not need to be the last one alive. It's very unique in that aspect. However, that doesn't mean that getting eliminations won't be a very prominent part of this game mode. As it says, you can take out the competition if it helps. It doesn't mean that it will help. Maybe it would help in certain situations and of course wouldn't matter in some situations, depending on how far away you are from other cars. A big question I would ask myself and that I'm wondering is exactly how loot is going to be distributed in this game mode because if the goal of the whole race is to get to the finish line as soon as possible, by all means, then that would probably mean that you would not want to stop to pick up loot at various places around the map as you pass because that would just enable other people to take the lead ahead of you. I wonder if power-ups would be available around the map as you drive, very similar to what you might see in Mario Kart, where you pass through the power-ups and it gives you an item. It's quite an interesting dynamic because I think that would definitely be a very unique aspect of Fortnite and if it truly is a racing game, mode, 
that would be not unlike a whole lot of other racing games that we've known and loved. I also wonder if there might be other vehicles in this game mode besides just the newly released cars. It says get to the finish line any way you can. That's implying there's more than one way to get there besides what you're typically supposed to do with the cars. What if there are brand new vehicles that we haven't even heard about that are being added to the game? What if they bring back other vehicles that we've known before like the Quad Crasher or the ATK? What if boats will be still in this game mode? What if the helicopters in this game mode? Of course, that raises a lot of questions and the possibility of that would be kind of challenging logistically, but at the end of the day, I feel like there's going to be more than one traditional way to end up getting to the finish line in this game mode, which is definitely exciting, and let me know your thoughts on what you think that might be. Of course, yesterday, the map's water level lowered tremendously, and this means the map you're seeing right now, and the map that is currently available in-game right now in Fortnite, will be the first version of the map that will have cars available to be driven on it. As you can see, a fair bit of the map is still underwater, but definitely much, much less than there was at the very beginning of this season. And of course, as the water level continues to go down, more and more areas will be able to be driven on and probably increases the possibility of cars spawning on the map in the first place in normal game modes. As a refresher, there will be a minimum of one car spawn and a maximum of 10 car spawns across the map each time you load into a normal match of Battle Royale, meaning you have no clue how many cars will be available. Sometimes there could be a lot of cars, sometimes there could be just one car, and you won't have any clue. I kind of feel like it's going to be pretty random, and if you find a car, it's going to be you just kind of randomly stumbling upon it, not like you're going out and setting yourself looking for it, because I feel like they could be pretty difficult to find at times. Anyway, moving on a bit, if you'll remember previously on the channel, I've talked about a free skin coming out called the Galaxy Scout skin, aka the Galaxy Girl skin. That skin has been officially leaked for you to see. This is courtesy of Samsung themselves. This skin, no surprise, looks a lot like its male counterpart, the normal Galaxy skin. I'd say this one might even look a little bit better in my opinion, and those shoes though, those shoes are straight heat. Now, courtesy of Samsung support, it looks like this tournament will only be able to be played if you're on a mobile phone, aka a Samsung mobile phone or device. It says you need to play within the valid dates and if you win, then only you will be eligible to get the outfit prize and the valid dates are July 20th through July 26th. Now, I've seen so many different dates going around, but they're all roughly in the same time period. You have to be playing on a Samsung device in order to be able to get in the tournament in the first place, and it seems like you only need to win a single game and get a victory royale in a single match while playing on one of these devices to claim the Galaxy Girl skin for yourself. It does not look like, as I previously thought, you would have to be the overall winner of the cup which would stink, but in effect would make the skin the most rare item in the game because like only one person would have it. But I'm glad to see that there will be multiple people that will be able to get this skin as long as you get a victory royale, it seems like, inside of the cup itself. That's cool and all, but there aren't a ton of people who actually own a Samsung device that would be eligible. What everyone is eligible to get though is the new FNCS foam finger back bling as well as an emoticon and a spray. The way you can get this for free is by watching Twitch streamers streaming the FNCS starting on August 1st. I gotta say, I think that back bling looks really sick and I can't wait to unlock that for myself. Let me know if you guys are planning on getting this when you're able to starting on August 1st. Now also I want to let you guys know the next time the water level is going to decrease into the game into the 5th stage is on the 24th of July at 3am Eastern Time. So that is only actually 3 days after the initial release of the cars, meaning that it won't be long after the release of those vehicles that you'll be able to roam the map even more with more land and more surface area, which will be very, very cool for people who love the cars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to take a second to personally thank you for taking time out of your busy day and hectic life to come and watch me. It means a lot. I'll see you guys in my next video and until then, take it easy and get a victory royale for me.